Hey everybody, Cool Marine here. So we we got her. We got her um our uh, t-shirt quilt basted. Okay, it's basted. We got it upstairs. We ready. To, I did a couple of stitches just to try it out to make sure we were rolling. All right, and we wanna we're gonna review this Cottage Mills four quilt clips. All right, I got these off of Amazon because you know when I was building quilts on the other machine the throat was wasn't big enough so I needed something to keep my quilts rolled rolled it up tight rolled up tight to fit through the throat as I stitched okay and I was like let, let me give these things a try because I'm tired of wrestling around with the quilt as I try to, to get it through the throat and keep my stitches straight okay and I tried it out and you know what I don't know how long they've been around, but they're pretty good. I give them, I'll give them a three out of five needles. And the only reason why I don't give them a four or a five is because I think, you know, because my quilts are pretty huge. And I don't know how big, how really, how much tension this is. So we could come back and give them more needles. But for right now, I give them a three out of five because it's holding the t-shirt quilt where it's supposed to be. Um, I've been getting some sliding back and forth from 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 the um, clips, but I think that's because the t-shirt quilt is really flimsy and small, and these don't have enough to bite into. But for right now, I give them a three out of five. I could come back later and give them a higher amount of needles, but right now, three out of five. I would definitely recommend them for someone who has a machine with a smaller throat and they're, and they're trying to maneuver large size quilts through it. Okay, uh, until I find something that could probably beat these. I'm gonna go with this these size. That's my washing machine making uh, all that music, and that's Daria wrestling with with Gunner. All right, but they're pretty good. I, I like them. So I'm gonna sit down. You get to see them in action. All right. So I got them. I got a couple of them on on this side of the quilt, as you can see, and they're holding pretty good. Because when before I used something like this, I would just roll it up, and then you know be in this chair trying to get it all through the throat and by the time it got through the throat it would be a mess all right so here we are on my new machine my pq 1500 sl and we are going to start stitching here so you can watch the pq do what it's meant to do okay so we are in position here Let's do a back stitch here. Yeah, well, yes, we will be doing a review on the machine, okay? You hear that? That's like, man, it's, it's like, a, like a kitten, parrot. Or like an Aston Martin Vulcan when it just starts. My wife just made a face, okay? That is awesome, okay? Now, there have been times I've broken thread, and it's because of the tension. I'm still trying to figure out my tension uh, levels on here, because it's, it's, it doesn't like garbage thread. I thought it did, but it doesn't. All right, so here we go. Let's, let's, let's take her for a spin here. Yes, I love it. So as, as I get to my intersections, I'll pull my pin, all right, from the basting. All right, we just threw a thread there. So I just gotta, I'm gonna have to re-thread the machine, which I, I don't mind doing because it's a great machine, all right? I just, I'm still trying to figure out my tension level. So it's a, it's a, learning, it's a learning curve that I have with this machine. Now this thread right here that I'm working with now is, I think it's a, I think it's a, what is this? Oh yeah, it's a, it's a Coates and Clark. Coates and Clark makes great stuff too, all right? I have some of theirs, but I like Aurafil, but you know, sometimes I'll get, I rock with some Coates and Clark too. And yeah, it took a little while to learn how to thread this. Not, not a while, I mean, Threading is threading a machine. It's just some machines have more steps than others, okay? All right. 
right, so now with this, the threader, you know, I it's something about using a threader. I my machines have had threaders and I use them, but you know, I don't know, it's just me, I guess. Smarter, not harder. I'm gonna use a conventional, I use a conventional needle needle threader, you know. I'll just send this thing through here. And then I'll thread the needle that way, okay? Don't laugh. It's just the way I do things. Put it through the threader opening. I'm sorry, I have clumsy hands. They're big. They are man hands, okay? All right, there we go. Get that through there. Uh, this is... This is easy for me i'm sure brother's like what is this dude doing is he losing his mind how come he's not using our threader but hey i'm sorry this is just what i do okay all right let's back let's back stitch that there because we lost it all right Yeah, the speed is amazing. And I try not to go really, really fast, okay? Because I'm I'm really impressed with how fast it stitches, but you can get lost in that. So I try to stay in my in my zone. Just about that right there. So look at look at how the clips held this. See, by this point, usually on a quilt that I'm built I'm doing, if I'm at the midway point, by this time it's just a ball of quilting this okay shoving through here and these clips are doing pretty good i might have to give them a i may give them a four we'll see the true test on these clips is going to be on our next quilt that we do we do our pimped out pinwheels that's going to be a huge one because that one's going to be for the wife okay and then we'll really see what these clips are working with okay let's go through this intersection I'm using a gray top and a white bottom thread. All right, so I don't play with uh, clips. I get them out of the way. It's the worst thing to strike a clip with a needle. I've done it. You can send all mistakes to me. I've done it, okay? If it's been done on a machine, I've done it. Other than run my own hand over, okay? See how the thing just breezes through that intersection? No traffic ticket here, okay? Alright, let's back this. Alright, uh, we're just gonna cut and get out of here. Alright, so that's that stitch. Look at this, okay? So this is the other side of it. We went through there pretty good, pretty easily. Alright? Not bad. Really great stitching. I love it. And this is on a three. This is a three um, stitch. Okay, so three meaning, you know, the, the length of the stitch. The length of a stitch is a, is a three. I could probably go to a two, but hey, don't mess with it. I don't mess with it. If it's working, I stay with it. You know how I do it. All right, so that's that's one on that side. And now all I have to do is Roll it open for my next one, right? Roll it open for my next one. Put the clip back on. I mean, it's a small quilt, so the clips are like, hey, what are you doing? You losing your mind? But we, I, I did promise that we were going to review them, okay? So we're going to ditch the clips for right now. We're going to really review them when we build a huge quilt, a king-size quilt, okay? But we're flying through this. So I have this one more. I guess I have this one stitch line to do. And then we're going to... We're gonna swing it lengthwise, and then we're gonna go this way. Okay, we'll go that way, and then we're gonna we're gonna close this thing down. All right, part, well, we'll close it down here shortly. So when I come back, you'll see that I've done both directions, and we'll be squaring it off. I'll show you how to square the quilt off and get it ready to be binded. Okay, so thank you for watching. Thank you for picking my video. Please subscribe, and remember, it's only fabric and it's only thread.